Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. I stumbled across this video on YouTube. It's from the channel Cody Sanchez. Um, it looks like she invested some money into a laundromat or invested with somebody to open a laundromat and they have a really uh, high return rate. So let's, we're gonna react to their video and uh, see if what they're saying uh, makes sense or if it's uh, just some kind of made up uh, gibberish. So. Let's see this uh, video, and again, the link to the original video is down below, and uh, we're going to react to some of it and see what's going on in this video. Again, the user is Cody Sanchez, so check out her channel, and uh, let's start the video and uh, see what it's all about. I'll stop it a couple times. I'm probably not going to watch the whole video. Um, you know, if you want to watch the whole video, uh, the links are up below, but that's uh, because it is about 15 minutes long, but let's Let's start the video and uh, see if uh, she's on the right track with uh, everything. He went from zero dollars to a laundromat that does three million in revenue in one year. Yep, he did. So I gave him 100K to grow a laundry empire, or I guess a laundry mat rocket ship. Introducing, drum roll please, the f So I don't know who this person is. I don't know if she just invests in businesses, but um, we'll have to find out you know, how he turns zero dollars into a three million dollar revenue, uh that seems kind of outrageous. But let's let's continue here. Especially in just one year. Fold laundry. They're projected to bring in a cool three million dollars and on their path to what Mark, CEO says will be fifty million. We're gonna break down their business so you can see how they did it and how we can too. Who knew? Fold and close. That stuff your mom didn't want you to leave on the ground. It's pretty profitable. So profitable, in fact, check it out. They got like 10 bands over here, all to deliver this laundry that they're throwing around inside of these washing machines at the fold. Today we're gonna talk about money. How wild, when you think about it, like you used to have an actually cool job, right? You used to do like kayaks and fishing gear. Right. What the f oh, that was pretty quick, all those, uh sentences on the screen but everything looked seemed uh on track i want to see how he went from uh zero to uh 10 vans in under a year that seems kind of uh massive uh accelerated uh expansion Let's see kevin what made you want to own a laundromat we thought uh, folding dirty laundry would be more fun. <laughs> I don't uh, it think was, that's uh, we true. Were, we were young professionals. The service didn't exist. And this was around the same time that uh, Uber was coming out, all these delivered to you services and yeah. that didn't exist for laundry. It was really novel at the time. Yeah. And uh, we were kind of one of the first movers in the industry. And now it's proven to be this established forever. All right, looks like they got Wasco mat washers and dryers. New stream for laundry mats. So they say the business is worth millions. I don't know if I agree with that. They had one year uh, and made three million. Taking notes to tell you how to build up your own laundromat. So she went from, see now this is not what I'm understanding. So she invested a hundred thousand dollars into this guy. So he must have she mu you know he must have other investors investing in him as well. Let's uh let's break this down a little bit. How many pounds of laundry do you guys do? It's like an elephant. How many pounds? Yeah, we do away? six to ten thousand pounds a night. All of these are running basically. What's the percentage you guys use every night? At night we we use hundred percent of the machines. Oh the machines God. are spinning twenty four seven. And how many? Normal capacity at best is 70%. They use 100%. 6,000 pounds a night of laundry. That's a lot. How many of these bad boys do you guys have? We have about 164 machines total. What does one of these cost you? They're expensive. That's a, that's a used car right there, and they're getting more expensive. Oh, uh, right. So an average washer will cost between three and $10,000. Three and $10,000. But I guess the cool part is that uh, you can find it. You can finance it. They last yeah. 10 to 15 years. Unless yeah. you beat the hell out of them. Like us, ours are probably going to last closer to 8 to 10. Eight to, okay, 8 to 10 years. 
3 to 10K, so it's like a Honda. There's laundromat lenders that'll go up to 10, but yeah, traditional SBA works. Uh, and you can you can find us at well over five years. So these are clean or dirty? These are clean. These are clean. All right. Should we see what's in here? Yeah, let's fold some laundry. We got a lot to do. <laughs> okay, let's fold some laundry, huh? All right, that's kind of creepy. Street. Yeah, let's pull some laundry. We got a lot to do. <laughs> okay, let's pull see some laundry, huh? Yeah? Secret hack for you want to be laundromat owners. Offering wash folds is one of the only ways to create a multi... Multi... Multi-million revenue laundromat. Um... I don't think I would disagree with that. They definitely have a good business here, it seems like they're doing 6,000 pounds a night. There's so many things people don't like about laundromats, right? It's like, you know, uh, they break all the time, they're too expensive right now. So let's break into some objections. Let's start with first, doesn't everybody have one of these bad boys at home? Why, why does anybody need these? People come to laundromat to either get it done for them or to use the high capacity machine. So these are really well cared for. It's big, bright, clean, and safe for the four keywords. That, that, that's laundromat marketing. Okay. And do you think that market's going away of people coming into the laundromat to do it themselves? I think if you looked at it as a whole, it might be shrinking. But what's growing faster than the self-service is shrinking is the full service. So when I see laundromats 10 years from now, it's not the for car wash comparison. Like it's not the car wash at the gas station. It's all grungy that uh, you, you run it through yourself. It's the Mr. Car Wash, yeah. where there's 60 employees in uniform doing it for you. Yeah. So I think laundromats are growing bigger and they're trending towards more, more full service. Mr. Car Wash went public to the tune of, I don't even remember, yeah. was it a couple billion? I don't know, it was massive and it they're popping up massive. everywhere. Yeah, we'll put the numbers up here. This is a business that multiple private equity firms have owned. All of these private equity firms independently made money on both the sale of it and then some sort of dividend or distribution. And they took this old car wash model that used to be the way to like these nice ones where, as you mentioned, tucked, you know, shirts are tucked yeah. in, pull everything, staff, same experience every single time, almost like a franchise or a McDonald's or whatever. And you guys think that something similar is going to happen with Boring business, layer on technology, layer on full service. It's exactly the Mr. Car Wash model. Yeah. Mark, you're gonna make me do Dude, all this folding by myself? This is how CEOs work, huh? Not something I thought I'd be doing as a private equity investor. But you know what? When all the other investors say that they don't do value add, I just wanna know, are they helping you fold underwear? Because I think the answer is no. Here, we go full service. This is actually full service. And do you get really particular, like, like how? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> we do, what's we have, we what's the full process? Full SOP on how to fold everything. So really? part of your training, it's actually a digital SOP. So we send you the chapter before the yeah. first day of class, and you have to learn how to fold before. You no know. way. So am I failing? Every pair of underwear, every bra, every towel has an exact way. Same it's way. Like. Okay, wait. We should probably go see how the pros are doing it, right? <laughs> okay. ¿Cómo es el proceso? How does how does this work? El procedimiento es que siempre tenemos que ver que la ropa se vea. Para de, de, de hacerles el trabajo más fácil a las mamás. Ay, lindo. She was basically saying that the process is all about showing the same love that you were. Okay. Interesting stuff here. Um, I'd like to know more about the behind the scenes of the numbers, but it looks like they're just uh, it's a uh, very well edited video. So I'm going to stop it here. Uh, I'm going to leave the link down below. Make sure you guys check out this channel. Uh, this is definitely some interesting stuff. Um, just the, their business model, um, the pickup delivery, which I've seen a couple other uh, big cha big laundromats do uh, that uh, I reviewed on this channel. So um, is that the future? Maybe. A little bit more active and hands-on than I want to be. I want to you know, keep my laundromats more as like a passive investment. I know it's not truly passive, but um, the wash and fold is definitely... Uh, you know, I've seen some places that are definitely crushing in wash and fold and pick up and delivery. 
uh, around here in my neighborhood. I don't see, I don't feel like there's a big need for it, but there's definitely markets with it. So I appreciate you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.